Hey everybody, this is ML Toys' videos on how to select the right power wheels. This video we're talking about tires. Uh, there's a lot of difference in tires on different vehicles and different brands. Uh, these four are just four of many tires that the brand Power Wheels makes. Uh, the first thing I want to mention to you guys is the tires come in a certain material. In this case, plastic. And in most cases, plastic. Very popular thing that people try to do is add rubber to them with bicycle tires or other things. The spinning tire on a Power Wheels is the only clutch system the vehicle has. If you stop that tire from spinning, you are going to rip up gears, you are going to burn out motors and switches. You have to allow that tire to spin. If the gearbox had an internal clutch, you'd be happy that the car wasn't uh, spinning the tires, but it actually wouldn't accelerate any faster because this is the clutch. Uh, and it's a lot easier and less expensive to replace than if you had an internal clutch on the car. So that tire material is very important. Please do not modify that. Now there's also the tire treads that the cars come with. These two are called the Monster Traction Tread from Mattel. It's got a very deep tread. It's a really awesome off-road aggressive tread. Uh, if you're going to be on the street, though, this will rattle your teeth out. Now, we do have an option to help with that, and that is a, the exact same tires with the street tread. So you can modify that down the road as you go. The other tires from Mattel generally have a less aggressive all-terrain tread. You can use street and dirt, and the kids will be comfortable with it. Now, a lot of folks will say, well, I want a more aggressive tread. Why don't I just put those tires onto my car that came with those tires? If you look here, you'll see that tires all have different systems for mounting them. Uh, and that's just Mattel, and the other brands are all different than Mattel, which is Power Wheels, and uh, they may have multiple ones also. So they don't adapt easily, and it's not just about getting an adapter that goes in, because there's also the offset to the wheel. This wheel has no offset. This has a little bit of offset to it. This one has a very deep offset to it. And that's going to make the tires rub on the fenders. And then there's the final concern of how thick the wheel is and how thick the axle is that has to go on it. Oh, and by the way, the hubcaps that go on the outside of these tires are not universal fit from one to the other. So make sure you're selecting the right one that works for you. We also have one more tire that we created. This is for all the older Jeeps that were from the... Oh, late 80s, all the way up to uh, around 2010, 2015. Uh, their tire was discontinued, so we came out with our own version of that. That's uh, B7659-2459 for reference. And we are constantly coming out with more tires. Whole point of this video in the end is to make sure that when you're purchasing a car, you select a, car, a tire that has the right tread for what you want, and you consider not modifying your tire and work with what the car came with. It's a very difficult change to make.